Hey, I'm Captain Eddie in the shop, and I got one for you. A 12-cent pen kit. That's right. This pen was made with a 12-cent pen kit. You can't beat it. Look, get your stuff together. Let's talk about it. This is something I can afford. To make this kit, I use a 3 quarter by 8 blank. Take it to my drill press and I drill a hole in the end of it about an inch and a half deep using a 5 32nd bit. This is because the very point is a little bit larger than the 1 8 inch shaft of the rest of the refill. And I'll drill a handful of these when they get cranked up. Then I've got to decide what size bushing to use. So as you can see right there, that's about 9 30 seconds to 5 16 so I've made a little bushing out of a piece of Corian and I slide it on my 1 8 by 6 drill bit. I picked this up at a machine shop or machine shop supplier and that becomes my drill bit and my mandrel. Now it's long enough to drill the entire length of the refill. I'll take my bushing off to drill the blank. Drilling the blank I do this by hand pushing it on. Now I spin the bit to start with to make sure it's running very very true and then I always watch that I don't bend it a little bit to make it drill off center and I drill the hole right down through the center of this. There's a couple of things you got to remember about this and that is when you bring that center up do not force it one side or the other. I'll show you what happens in a second but I bring it up and let it just find the blank where it finds it at. I have enough meat to do this. Then using a very sharp roughing gouge I trim it down get it real close. See that? That's what happens if you force that center to the center of the blank because your hole may not be in the center of the blank. Now I take my skew and clean things up and well first let me put a mark on the end over here to establish the very end of it. I've got a pencil mark. Yeah. Then I'm going to put a little groove down there and that's going to be the very end. And then I'm going to plane down a good bit. Now at the very tip I'm going to come in and clean this up a little bit more and that is so it matches up to that very nib that's on that big pen. Now you're going to have a transition there. Live with it. Make sure it's square. I'm going to go back on the other end, use my stot. I like to put a few little marks on a pen. My trademark is a couple of burn lines. So I've set a couple of lines. I've used my small wire burner, went all the way around it, and puff of smoke, I hold silver. We're there. Now I put a little sanding wax on it. This is going to make it so I can get a great finish on it. Now after I've put it down to 600 RPM, 600 grit, I'm going to go to Starbond Medium CA and put this on using a piece of toilet paper. Never bring a rag, never bring steel wool to your lathe. Toilet paper, just a few drops. I mean, I might have three drops on a piece of tissue. Back and forth, it builds up a little film on the tissue and it doesn't stick. RPMs are about 800 RPMs right now and I just work it in a little bit. I might stop the lathe and go back and forth with another drop or so if it looks like I've got some ridges. But I get rid of the ridges by using this. It's an 800 scotch Bright pad I get from Vincent Welsh. This is really nice. It buffs it out and then I'm going to put my wax on. Now I go right back to the top, take my skew, and this is fine work. Now if you're uncomfortable doing it like this, take a little saw do a little part and then clean it off and you can sand it later but doing pens is a skill builder you should learn how to do these things with your skew so this is what you do with it and it's going to break off right here and piece is going to go away and then you're ready to finish the end with a little touch of sandpaper now you'll hold it there you go now just take a while it's still running notice that it's free ending off that drill bit. That's how true it will run. Then I put a finish on it and all and finish the whole end up, pull it off the mandrel which is the drill bit, insert the BIC refill and if you ever need to change it you just pull the refill out and put another one in. And there you have it, a 12 cent pen kit.
Hey, there you have it, 12 cent pen kit. You can't beat that. In fact, it's so cheap, you can make two, three, four, five. You know, a pack of 12 cost under a dollar fifty from Walmart. Yeah, the wood turner's resource, Walmart. So get a bunch of big pens and make some presents for your friends. Great desk conversation pieces. Great to mess with people with too.